Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Scott from myceps.com and today I have a new video for you. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be placing our Photoshop raster color separation into Illustrator for output. Um, there's a couple reasons why you may want to do that. Uh, one of them is you may want to have the bigger registration marks. Um, another reason if you have a direct to screen system um, you're going to be outputting through Illustrator. So there's a few reasons why you might want to do this um, and I'm going to show you how right now. So let's open our file here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is whether you have a RGB or CMYK you're going to want to change that to multi-channel. Okay. Once it's multi-channel you can delete all of the channels that are not part of your separation. So that's your cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and your background if you have it. So you can select all those and delete channels. So you're just left with your the ones that you're going to be wanting to print. And the next step is to save it as a DCS 2.0 EPS file. So when you do that, you'll see up at the top here, it'll, it'll change from PSD to .eps. Okay. So once you have that, you can close out of it and open up a new file. As long as it's bigger than the image, you're okay to start with. Um, this one's a 15 by 20. So the next step is to uh, draw a center line. So I'm at 15 inches, so I'm going to go to 7.5, draw a center line, and then I'm going to go to File Place. The EPS file. And then you're just going to click anywhere. And then uh, I like to grab it, and where the X is, I put the X, the middle of the X here, right on the center line there. Okay. And then I draw um, additional guides around the artwork to where you're going to be placing your registration marks outside of these guides. So. The next step uh, is to open your registration marks copy and paste them into your file. If you don't have a registration mark uh, you can make one pretty easily. Um, basically all this one is is a circle and two lines. So. I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to make a circle and the outline color of the circle is going to be the registration color. You can see it has a little target there. And then you're going to grab a line. You're going to put a line this way make sure it's that registration color to another line this way Boom. and that's your registration mark right there um, if you want to make it exactly perfect you can make it like a one point stroke or if you want to make it a half point it's up to you so that's that's the registration mark that's what I use and it works great um, I just save it into a separate file called registration mark. I open that up when I need to use it, copy and paste it into the file so I don't have to make it every single time. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy, paste, put one over here, grab these, copy, paste, put them down here, and then in the middle I'm going to grab a my line tool and I'm going to do a little center line on the top and bottom. Okay. So also uh, what you're going to want to do here is uh, create labels for your colors. 
So if you look here on your swatches palette, it's already made the five colors here. And so what you need to do is create five separate text blocks for each color. So the first one is the number one base white. Okay, and then you're gonna click your arrow, click off of it, and then make another text block for each color. So two, blue, 32, 58. Okay. So I'm clicking off of it again. Number three, orange, 021. It doesn't matter that that got uh, partially colored because we're gonna recolor these in a minute. Four, yellow, 108. And five, black. Then you're gonna take these five separate blocks and you're gonna put them alongside your registration mark. And then color them according to the swatches. So you're gonna click the first one and make it white. You won't see it anymore, but it's there. Two, blue. Three, orange. Four, yellow. Five, black. Okay. Now you're going to crop out all this excess white. So document setup, edit artboards. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit print. And you're going to change your printer to your Accurip if you have it. And your media size is going to be custom. Okay. Under output, you're going to change mode from composite to separations. And you'll see here, it's not going to print this sign magenta yellow black. It's only going to print what's got the printer icon next to it. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you hit print and that's it. Um, also, if you want to preview your separation before you print it, you can, let's get rid of these guides here. If you want to preview your separation, what you can do is you can go to separations preview here. Um, you're going to check this box over print preview. And you're going to take off your sign image any yellow black. And you can view these one at a time. So we've got your blue, orange, and they're appearing as the colors. But you can see up at the top, it does have the label here, which changes for every one. If you do want to see your base, what it looks like, um, you can just change it here to a random color. It really doesn't matter. But as you can see, your base white is there. It's showing the registration marks and everything. Of course, when you put it back on, it's not going to look right because I made that funky base color. So putting that back to white. And it might take a second to refresh. You can zoom out. Um, not quite sure how to get it back to the right preview. But anyways, that's it. So you can print directly from uh, Illustrator by doing this. Um, you can also add vector elements to your raster file. Um, how you would do that, let's say you wanted to add a, um, a yellow circle. So you would just draw a circle. And you're gonna fill it with this same swatch color. And then you can add, you know, extra elements 
to your design or you can copy it and paste it from another file as long as you take it and uh, change it to the appropriate color you can add vector elements so we'll, sh we'll show that here so see I've got the vector elements there um, so that, that's about it. Um, if there's any other questions about this, go ahead and uh, just make a comment on the video and I'll respond to you. Or if there's another video tutorial that you'd like me to make about something that, uh, in, you know, something about separations, um, yeah, just let me know. All right, thanks.